Welcome to LawPath's legal education videos. My name is Damon Murdoch. I've been a lawyer for more than 10 years. Today we're talking about how to minimize your legal costs. Now, lawyers charge by the minute, and, uh, and as you would know, uh, they can get very expensive, and they do have a lot of lawyer jokes around that. And it's unfortunate because the reality is, is the way lawyers charge is it's for the service rendered. And what we need to make sure is when lawyers are charging, you understand why you're being charged and you understand how you're going to be charged before a lawyer is actually engaged. And so lawyers are very strictly governed by their legal professional rules. And they must give you a cost agreement explaining the range of fees of, of how much they estimate the legal cost to be. And they must give you a disclosure about what their hourly rate is. And lawyers charge in what's called six minute units. So if you have a two minute phone call, they're allowed to charge you for six minutes. And if they technically send a one line email, they're allowed to charge you for six minutes. This is what's called billable hours under units. And all, pretty much all lawyers charge units. Every phone call, every email, unless you do a fixed fee arrangement with your legal representative. So there's a couple ways to minim minimize your costs depending on the, the engagement that you have with your lawyer. So the first one is that if you're going to hire a lawyer to draft a contract for you, a lot of people will go and they'll take a couple templates from somewhere, they'll mix and match them all apart, or they'll put them all together, they'll put their own material in it, and then they'll give it to a lawyer to look at and ask, how much is it going to cost to legalize this, or how much is it going to cost to draft this contract? When a lawyer looks at that, they look at it and they say, oh my goodness, there's a lot of problems with this agreement. It's been taken from here, it's been taken from there, the formatting's terrible, the clauses aren't well drafted. It is going to take us hours and hours and hours to redraft this document. You don't want to hire a lawyer necessarily to redraft the document that you've given them. If you want to minimize your costs, you're much better off spelling out in 10 points this is the contract I want. This is what my business does. This is what the services we're offering. This is how we propose to charge. These are the major issues that we have generally when we're dealing with this. This is the special conditions that I want you to tailor. A lawyer can then go and say, I've done a thousand contracts. I know exactly which one I can use as a template and I can take that template, which is already perfectly formatted, already well drafted, already has most of the clauses in it, and they can insert a couple more clauses and change it up slightly, and that's how you minimize your costs. More often than not, people will think that by them trying to draft it themselves or taking templates, they're actually reducing their costs, but the reality is they're increasing their costs because lawyers like to deal with the contracts that they know. And if they have to redraft everything from scratch, it's gonna cost a lot more than them tailoring up a document that they already have. So my recommendation is if you have a tailored contract you want drafted, do a 10 point brief of what you want and then give them a template that you found somewhere and say, this is a similar contract that I would like but these are the 10 changes I'd like made to it or these are the 10 things that I'd like in my agreement, I like that contract but you don't have to use it, you can use whatever you want but this is what I'm trying to do. And that way you'll reduce your costs. The second way is when you're having a business contract uh, drafted by a lawyer, and let's say you have five business partners. Now, when you have five business partners um, all putting in their own comments and all suggesting changes, this results in that lawyer having to go through person by person issue by issue, client by client, or whatever it might be, and dealing with all of those issues. It would be much faster and much cheaper for the client to have one person go through the document and upload all the questions and then have a one-on-one -on -one call with that lawyer dealing with those questions. Because if you have five people on the call, 
It's not going to be as efficient. There's going to be a lot more issues. Things that haven't been dealt with will now pop up. The lawyer will then have to hang up the phone, redraft, go back, have another meeting, and so on. So when you're negotiating contracts, my recommendation is normally get the first draft from the law firm. Once you get the first draft, discuss among yourselves by uploading the document into Google, um, into Google Docs or something like that so everybody can see it and go through paragraph by paragraph having one person go through and enter into the comments and one person send it over. That way you have one person that that lawyer has to deal with and it's going to ultimately save a lot of time in drafting that contract. When you're looking at other matters that are possibly not fixed fee, um, then you want to look at different tactics or things that you can do to minimize your legal costs. Now going back to fixed fee, a lot of contract drafting, some contract negotiation, uh, consultations, things like that, letters of advice, those can all be fixed fee, so you know what you get. The other side of the coin is where normally litigation, where it's uh, billable hours, and you normally will get a range. Now, because it's billable hours, you will be charged by that lawyer per task that's being performed. And a lawyer doesn't necessarily, they want to have a good relationship with you. They want to talk about the footy where possible. They want to create that rapport and be trustworthy and have a relationship where you can trust them and talk to them. But at the same time, you've got to remember that they might charge you for talking about footy in between the legal issues that you're talking about. And I know some people say that sounds, that's crazy, but that's the way it is. Is that while you're waiting for something, there might be a other chat, but at the end of the day, you'll get an hour consultation. You're not gonna get a 26 minute call with a lawyer, and then you talk footy for two minutes, and then you get another, um, another consultation. They're not gonna be carving out that two minutes because at the end of the day, it's one task, they're not working on anything else. So what's important is making sure that you're organized. When you review a document, when you want advice, gather your thoughts, gather your issues, talk to your spouse, figure out what you want to go over and do it in one series of questions. Can you please answer this? Can we have a call? Here's our proposed agenda. This is all the issues that I have right now. That way, you're not going to have going back and forth emails of series of questions. You're not going to have amendments going back and forth on documents. It's one task, one charge, one task, one charge. So the way to minimize your costs, talk to the lawyer first, find out whether they understand your business, find out if they understand your contract, and see whether they have a template that they want to use, and if so, prepare a 10-point brief on what you want that contract to say. Try to negotiate fixed fee where you can. It's always going to benefit you, it's never going to benefit the lawyer. And number three, really consider um, clarifying your thoughts, clarifying your issues, and doing it in lumps of rather than toing and froing back and forth a series of emails. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, visit www.lawpath.com.au. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.